Hello. This short video is going to cover how to select a style sheet for your report. A style sheet is the way the content is presented to your customer in your final product. So if you'd like to see what HomeGage has to offer in the way of style sheets, you can go up to the top left corner and click on File. Then go down to Printing Options, and your Print Options screen will open. There's some tabs that go across the top. Click Style and Format. And here you'll see the print options available in HomeGage. Currently it's set on Narrative 1, which means that it does not include the grid. And this particular one has the styles and materials on the top. So down here you get a preview of what it would look like. This is not your report. It's just, a, just an example of what it would look like. So here are the styles and materials on the top and you can scroll down and see how it includes the rest of the content. So a picture with a comment, or just the column headers that you selected inspected. It won't have a comment, it'll just indicate that you clicked inspected in the grid in the software. Again, this one does not present the grid. If you scroll up a little bit, there's some other options. Here's grid two. Grid two does include the grid and you have your comment and then your image and this one has the styles and your materials on top if you click on grid one you can see the styles and materials are on the side it actually says styles and materials on side and it's the same as grid two only the styles and materials are on the side you'll also notice on the right that there's color schemes that you can select you would pick something that complements or matches your logo and if I click on grid two, I will select home gauge orange. You can see the difference there. There's also some options for any organization that you belong to. Well, not any, but there's InterNACHI and ASHI watermarks that you can include. So if I click on grid three, you'll see blue ASHI. And if you look here, you'll see a watermark in the background that says ASHI. And here's another one for InterNACHI Blue. That would be InterNACHI. And then there's also InterNACHI or Canadian Nachi, Kenachi. <laughs> and that one's here. You can see it. They have the Canadian logo in the background. So I'm going to select Grid 3, and I'm just going to select Black so we can see what that looks like. And I'll say, I want to see what this looks like on my report. That little preview is nice, but I'd like to see what it looks like with my report. So you can click OK. And now I want to open a report. You don't have to go in and write one from scratch. You can just go to Open. And if you have your own reports in here, you can select one. If you've just started with HomeGage, you can just select one of the default examples that come with HomeGage. So I'll select that one. And I want to see what it looks like. So I'll go to Print at the top and say OK. It had full report for upload or print with pictures selected. And here's what it would look like. Very simple, not a lot of color outside the pictures. Here's our grid. Here's our styles and materials. And this particular style sheet includes a box around the images and the, the comments. So I say, you know, maybe this one's not for me. I think I want to try something different. So I'll click close. And on the fly, you can change this. So I'm going to go to print again. And I'll leave my print option selected. And I'll go to file style and format. So from here, this is just an on the fly preview. It won't change it permanently unless I go back in and tell it to change it permanently. So I say, you know, I'd like to see the grid too. And I also want to see maybe I like home gauge orange. So I'll leave that and, and don't click this box over here because we just want to see what it looks like this one time. And I'll click OK. Gives me a little, little more color. You can see the grid. It's nice. And you've got these little highlighted boxes of what was checked off. It doesn't include the box. And it's kind of nice. I like it. So I say this is the one for me. You can see your, your general items, your styles and materials are on top.
So I can click close and I say, I really like that one. I need to set it as my default. So you can either go through those steps again and go to print and change it and click the little box at the bottom left, or you can click file, printing options, style and format, and then you can go to grid two, home gauge orange, and you'll notice this little gray box down here is automatically checked off because whenever you change something from the file print options screen, if you go to file and navigate this way, it will automatically default for all future reports. And you say okay. And that's how you select a style sheet so that you can decide how you want your content presented to your customer um, on your final product. I hope this helps. Thanks.